Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today in this video we will learn how to create your wonderful contact form or functionable contact form for your WordPress website. So you can make any contact form for your any website and I will show you how to create any email address and integrate this email address to your contact form also integrate your custom mail to your Gmail account or email account. So you will get notification from your custom mail and you can easily replay any mail from your custom mail. So I will show you how to integrate custom mail using SMTP and how to replay any mail from your custom mail using your Gmail account. Also I will show you how to connect your any custom mail to your WordPress website and how to configure SMTP server to fix email delivery issue. I will show you everything step by step. So let's get started and before starting this video please like comment share and subscribe the YouTube channel to get more updates. So first of all we need to log in our WordPress dashboard then we need to activate our plugin from plugins uh, hover over on plugins and click on add new. We don't have any contact from on our website. So that's why we need to add contact from plugin then search for flowing from and as you can see we have got the contact from plugin and click on install now to install this plugin then click on activate and as you can see we have successfully activated this plugin after activating and you will get these options on your menu bar click the plugin from and as you can see we have got subscription and contact from demo so we have got two different demo from and you can delete your existing form from here or you can create your new form so i want to create a new form and you can choose uh, some different of from template from here but i want to create blank from click on it and as you can see we have got contact from builder and you can add your new field from here general fields and we have got some advanced field so you can use some advanced field or general fields so i want to collect name from our visitor just drag and drop and as you can see we have successfully added our name field so you can easily customize this field and you can set the name of field level or you can add middle name if you will check it and you can collect middle name from your site visitor also you can add multiple fields from here click on import field and simple text or email so i want to collect customer or visitor email and that's why i am adding email field so you can also customize the email field uh, placeholder and you can make it required so this is required and you can type your error message for the required field and it has some advanced options and go to advanced option and as you can see you can change uh, default value for the field also you can set the name attribute from here but i don't want it i wanna uh, add another new field and it has lots of field for free you can use free and some paid field from here you can add text area or numbric or checkbox or any other field just simply drag and drop and add your new field for example i want to collect country list from our user or site visitor just add the country list also i want to add text area just add it and you can rename it text area so i want to rename this element level type your message and i want to make it required then click on save form so after saving this form then you will get this short code so just click on it and you can copy this short code then i want to create a new page from the pages let's click on open new tab then type your page title so i'm typing contact us or you can type your own text then click on plus icon then select short code from here then paste your short code and click on publish and that's it and visit this page and as you can see we have got our contact form so our site visitors can type their first name last name email address and they can select their country and type 
your message so they can type their message so i'm typing my information and select country then click on submit from so you can check this message from your admin panel just go to uh, flow in forms click on entries and as you can see you have got the submission and you can view the submission from here click on view and as you can see you have got our visitor name visitor email address country and visitor message so if someone submit this form and you will get these informations to the section but if you don't receive any email notification to your email address you can easily configure it uh, just go to your forms click on forms then click on settings and go to the email notification and as you can see our email notification has disabled so we need to enable it also you can add multiple email notification system just uh, click on plus icon and you can add multiple email notification system then type your email notification name so i'm typing contact form you can type your own text then send to enter email and select a field or this notification will send to your admin email address or you can add your custom email address over here also you can easily integrate your oimail just uh, follow my steps login your cpanel if you are a cpanel user or if you are a hosting or user let's go to emails you can easily manage your emails from here then you can select titan free email from here click on select this package then click on email accounts then click on new email address then type your email address, email password, and create your web mail. Or if you are a cPanel user, you can go to email tab and click on email accounts. Then click on create. Then type your username. So I am typing contact. You can type anything, contact info, admin, at your domain.com.net.online. It is safe. It will be our business mail and type your email password so i'm gonna generate new password from here let's copy this password and click on create so after creating your email account and as you can see this is our new email account so copy this email account and go back to your wordpress dashboard and paste it over here uh, send to email okay that's it and scroll down and click on save notification and as you can see we have successfully added this email notification option and i can go back to the contact form and i want to test the email notification let's type this information as an user submit the form and you can check your email address from the web mail uh, just click on check email then click on open and as you can see we have got the email uh, from submission and email notification to our inbox and these are our site visitors informations so you can also forward this email to your gmail account if someone send an email to this email account and it will be automatically forward to our gmail account let's go back to your control panel and go to the control panel email section click on forwarders from the email tab then we need to add new email forwarding system click on add forwarder button and type your email address contact at our domain and as you can see we have got forward to email address so you can type your gmail address over here so i am typing or select my gmail address then click on add forwarder and then if someone sent any email to this email and you will automatically receive to your gmail account uh, let's try again just uh, reload this page then check your web mail inbox and as you can see we have successfully received this uh, contact form and you can also check your gmail id and as you can see we have got our new form submission and email option then click on this option and as you can see we have received our email from the wordpress mail so this is our wordpress default email but i don't want it i want to add my custom email address or business email address let's go back to your wordpress dashboard and go to plugins and click on add new i am going to activate a new plugin that's name fluent smtp let's search for fluent smtp and install this plugin and click on activate so we have successfully activated this plugin then you can click on this configure fluent smtp or you can go to settings and click on fluent smtp then we have got some different of uh, provider email provider you can select other 
SMTP and type your from email. So you can also configure your email from here. Uh, go to your cPanel and click on email accounts. Then click on connect device. I want to connect this email to our SMTP uh, plugin. Then as you can see, we have got some information. So incoming server, outgoing server. So we need to copy this outgoing server and paste it over here from email. Then type your from name. So I'm typing contract. Okay. Then type your SMTP host. SMTP port. So we need to use our SMTP host from here, uh, outgoing server, and just paste it over here and SMTP port. So we need to use this SMTP port 465 and paste it in here. Then SSL TLS uh, email in encryption. So select SSL if you have SSL certificate on your domain. Or uh, if you don't have uh, SSL certificate and you can select TLS, then scroll down and as you can see, we have got some more option SMTP username and SMTP password. So we need to copy our SMTP username. So this is our SMTP username, contact at our email. Just paste it over here and SMTP password. So we need to add our email password just go back to the email option and click on manage then you can set your new password for this email address generate or you can use your previous password so let's copy it and click on update email settings then paste your password over here then click on save the connection so credential verification failed oh sorry for the mistake uh, you have to paste your email address or email user just copy this email address from here and paste it over here. then click on save and as you can see we have successfully configured the email uh, center option and again I want to test the SMTP configuration and submit this form again then go back to your email account reload this page and as you can see this email comes from our SMTP server and contact our name email address name and if you check this option and as you can see we have got our from email address and our from email address is contact at our domain and if you check your previous email and as you can see this email comes from wordpress default mail and next i want to connect this email account to my gmail account so using the same process or smtp information because of if you want to try to replay or send any or compose any mail from your gmail account you don't able to replay from your custom mail so i want to add my custom mail replay or send mail from our custom mail using the gmail account so how to integrate it so first of all we need to log in our gmail or go to our gmail account click on this uh, settings icon then click on see all settings then go to the accounts and import tab then scroll down and click on add another email address then type your email name you can type your brand name or own name whatever you want then type your email address just go back to your email accounts then click on connect device copy the email account or username then open the pop-up and paste your email address then click on next step then type your SMTP server and SMTP username and password let's copy your SMTP outgoing server and open the pop-up then paste your email server address and select port 465 because of our port is 465 and we'll use email username just paste your email address let's type or paste your email password then click on add account then you will receive the email verification code to your uh, inbox then check your inbox and copy the confirmation email and open the pop-up and paste it over here then click on verify okay so we have successfully configured our email address and if you click on compose then select your email address from here then you can send any email from the email address let's type your another email address so I'm typing my another email address okay we have successfully sent our email to our new gmail account you can also replay these emails to your customer and as you can see we have successfully replay or received this email 
uh, from our Gmail account. You don't need to log in your webmail. You can easily replay any email from your Gmail account and you can configure your contact form. 